Hey guys, Rashid here from rnbsinglessons.com. Alright, I'm gonna give you a singing pitch tutorial, singing pitch trainer tutorial to help you sing better in key, okay? There's a few ways you can practice. The two main ways are using an exercise, such as a scale or an arpeggio, to practice your sense of key. And the other way is just to use the phrases of a song, okay? So to use maybe a line of a song and practice that in different keys. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So we'll go to the sequence page, okay? We're gonna record a new sequence, and in this case, I'm just going to record a scale, okay? So the scale will be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's just do a whole scale, okay? And uh, I'm gonna set it, so, so the way you would use it if you're a beginner, okay, for a beginner is you would use this chart, okay? And you would, let's say, we'll just, you can start at a very slow speed, but I'll just start at 60. And we're just going to sing it on anything. We can just sing it on R, okay? Or on a sentence is another good way to help you. So it could be, for example, uh, watch my, see my voice in the green bar? That means I'm singing accurately, yeah? So that's what you're aiming for. Let me do that again. Uh, See that I'm in the center of the chart? I didn't sing that last note for long enough. That's what happened there. So that's what you're looking for, to get to the center as soon as you start the note and be able to make a really straight line, okay? So ideally, start really slow, okay? Really slow, like even 15. Uh, just take a breath whenever you need to. Uh, and once you can do that, okay? You go through all the notes doing that. Then you set it on a different key. Just press up. There we go. I just changed key. Okay, now, so changing key means it's the same melody, but from a different start point. Okay, so now we're one note higher start point. If I put it back down, we were on a C start point. And the key up here, you can see it's C major. And it shows you the notes in C major, and it shows you the relative minor, which is A minor. Every major key has a relative minor. Okay, it's gonna go, we're going to go up a key. And we can see now the key has changed to D flat major, okay? And all the notes are different now. And the first note of the melody is now a D flat of the scale. So let's see what it sounds like. Uh, uh, I'll make it a bit faster for demonstration purposes. Uh, So it's the same melody, but starting from a different point. Let's say we go back down for, to demonstrate to you. Uh, okay, I'll go back up. Uh, so it's just starting from a different point. That's all it is. Why is this important? Because there are 12 possible keys in music, and you need to learn to be able to switch to any of them if need be. Why? because different songs are all in different keys. So you need to be able to exercise your muscles to know the notes that fit in all these different songs that are all in different keys, okay? As well as being able to instantly change key if you need to. Say, for example, you're singing a song. The song might be really high, but maybe you don't want to sing it high that day. Maybe you feel like singing it lower, okay? So you need, you need to be able to just switch that, okay? So uh, that's a very important skill in singing. No one that's professional or advanced can't do this, okay? Everyone that's an advanced singer is easily capable to change keys at any point. And this also sets you up for more advanced skills, which you're going to learn later. And it's important, and it's important exercise tool, being able to change key. Uh, because when you're training your voice to stretch your range, to learn new melodies, to do runs, to train any part of your vocals, a common exercise is to change key as you practice, okay, and able to create those skills. So what I've created here is an auto key changer. So uh, you press repeat, and when you press repeat, it gives you these options of auto key. I'm going to make it every two reps, I'm going to go up, okay, automatically with hands free, so you don't need to use your hands. So, okay, let's do it together. Watch me. Uh, It's 
doing the second rep, okay? Now it's gonna automatically go up. Ready? Watch the keys change. Uh, just change. Uh, and you can see there. I'll put it faster, just demonstrate quickly. Uh, uh, change key. Uh, I'll turn the chart off because we don't need it at this point. Uh, uh, It's changing key. Okay, ideally you would do this slowly. I'm just showing you for demonstration purposes. So you do it at a slow pitch for beginners and check your pitch on the on the chart. Okay? When you're more advanced and you feel like okay, I've done this a few times, then you can go faster, okay? And take away the chart and just focus on the sound. Okay? Because uh, you don't always need to look at the chart. You just need to look at the chart from like this 12 speed up to around about the 100. Once you're accurate on those uh, speeds, then you don't need the chart anymore, and you can use these faster speeds and turn the chart off. The reason for turning the chart off is because it's not very accurate after 100, okay? So you don't need it at that point anymore, anymore anyway. You train your pitch accuracy at slow speeds. And then you, the, the point of the chart is to see your pitch across the different keys, okay? And make sure you're doing it right at a comfortable speed then you move then you do the faster speeds just by ear okay so it's a mix of ear training as opposed to just seeing it visually all right guys so hope that helps you how to train your key your sense of key with a scale exercise another way to train it is with a song okay so let's say we take a simple song like happy birthday and put in the notes of happy birthday so happy birthday sheet music let's just find whatever pops up all right so this one is in the key of C okay so there's no there's nothing here next I want to show you what a different key looks like actually all right so this one is in a this one has two sharps in the key signature so we can see here oh, oh they lead to the same page here we go so see there are two sharps there okay so let's find that key so what does that look like one with two sharps it's, there we go it's this one d major okay i'm going to zoom in for you so you can see it more clear okay d major so let's enter in those notes so we've got the first we'll just do the happy birthday to you we'll just do that bit so we've got these notes here so they're on the bottom line two lines down on the line so let's find that note two lines down on the line there it is okay so I'm just gonna take off this feature here so that it doesn't sound really quick when I press the note okay uh, uh, and you can also just refresh the page you can press press sequence and it'll refresh the page so let's go record D major so that's the first note okay second note is the same so we've got uh, B, okay, birth, so it go, looks like it goes in between, it goes under that line, so where is that? We can zoom right in, there it is, birth, okay, we can title that, birth, happy birth, day, back down on the line. Two, and then jumps up right under the first line. Two, where's that one? Here it is. Two. And then the last note is the U. It's just on the line that's under the first line. U, there. Okay, now, by the way, you'll see only the notes that are applicable in this key are visible and they have the notation on them. The rest are grayed out because they're not part of this key. Okay, that's that's all I'll say for now. It's, a, it's got to do with music theory, but it just makes it easier for you to find your notes. All right, there we go. We found the notes. Let's zoom out. We'll just do that one line for demonstration. Birthday to you. So this is the second way to train 
your key, your sense of key. Here we go. Let's play it. Happy birthday to you. Okay, I got it in that key. All right, now I can just change the key manually. how you do it okay so let's put on order order repeat I'll make it go up every two keys here we go happy birthday to you 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 there you go okay so you can see you can do the exercise with us exercises or with a song now i'm going to give you a list of exercises that you can do that you can also um, pick from or you, i re highly recommend you also do it with your favorite songs okay to practice being able to change key on your favorite songs just one line at a time don't do too much i'm rashad hope you enjoyed this lesson please send me an email if you have any questions uh, while you're using train i support everyone that buys singing fish trainer and i'll see you next time bye